Hi there, this is Toby Green, and you're listening to The Green Room with Tom Green and Jacob Gaynor. Stay tuned. Oh, well, coffee's for a week for that, mate. Welcome back to the third instalment of In The Green Room. Tom, thanks for coming back. No problem, Jacob. It's fantastic to be back as always. Um, there was some rumours you weren't quite going to make it into the studio. You said you were feeling a bit crook over the weekend. A couple of, what was the case? A case of leather poisoning is what no. you text me. I have, I certainly didn't go on the record and say that. I have receipts. No. <laughs> I know you've tried to make up some receipts in the past and put it on the Giants Instagram, but I've definitely not said that. Uh, but we'll start at the top. Initial thoughts on the weekend. Another solid win. Yeah, it was. It was really good. It was uh, nice to be at NG Stadium again. We're having a little hiatus from from our, our home ground for a little while now, but um, that's all right. No, it, it was good. It was a good win. And North Melbourne, I thought, were really impressive, actually. They they challenged us at times, and um, but it was nice to come away with a win. And it's arguably bigger than the win. This is the news I have right now to share with you. It, I, maybe I don't know this. What is it? What have you got for me? So in doing some research the last few days, in the green room, our podcast, Tom, our podcast, Our podcast, as the sign says, is <laughs> your podcast <laughs> featuring the media guy from the Giants. <laughs> your podcast <laughs> is now fourth in Australia on Spotify. <laughs> Won't well, play the whole song. Yeah, but well, that first of all, haven't we upgraded with the buttons? That's uh, seriously. We should impressive. get to that too. Yeah, that, now that, that, or later. No, well, we can address it very quickly. Again, our viewers will be able to see, but um, it's nice to have, yeah. We're in control now. Exactly. This was here, obviously, last week. We had this little dashboard, I, I suppose you'd call it, but it, we've now upgraded with some buttons that have some features. Uh, which features is really like impressive. like this. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. The best song. Yeah. Uh, behind mine, of course, the mm. Samba. Um, but we heard the Samba before as well. Yeah, there's a few different ones, which is really good. Um, but fourth, I didn't know that. There you go. We are So we're fourth, I think, in sports podcasts, is it? Or yep. Which I think is, I mean, it's a special moment for us, obviously. We're, we're clearly, I just not, not only we defeated cancel culture, <laughs> we're actually going okay. Which is I don't really want to say we're flying, <laughs> but someone clip our wings. <laughs> <laughs> because, wow. And... Yeah. Or you actually don't know this either. Should we just break the champagne out now or well, what? Well, you know what? Fourth in Australia. There's a big, big <laughs> from the west of the town. Wow. Oh, that cut off cool. We could get carried away with that, which oh, we need to be careful of. And we will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If there's anything you and I do, it's get carried away. <laughs> uh, not only are we fourth in Australia on Spotify, one of the main questions we've been getting regarding the podcast mm. is when is it hitting Apple Podcasts? And I'm delighted to announce you can now find us on Apple Podcasts, which I mean, look out Apple Charts. Yeah, I was going to say, we've only got uh, readings on the Spotify Charts at the minute. We might go number one on Apple now that it's finally going to get up. And if we do? Then it is actually, you'll see us, there might be uh, champagne glasses and uh, drinks all around, maybe cigar smoking in the next uh, next instalment. There's obviously potential. Like I might walk away. From the club yeah, well, to do podcasting full time because obviously it works. You've been threatening to leave the club for a little while now if they okay. don't pay you more, which I've heard. Okay. Look, I haven't <laughs> been using the whole Tassie thing in my contract, so <laughs> don't get me started, buddy. Uh, but before we move on to Tassie, because it is a big talking point mm. this week, let's just have a, a quick look at the top six. Now, to be honest, I didn't find this stat. I want to give a special shout out to Broden Kelly, mm. who there has been comments as well. I don't know if you know this, but Broden Kelly gave me my first podcast start. I'm familiar. Uh, so shout out to Broden. Shout out. And to Tom. Tom's his. Shout Tom's, out to Tom's the like lads. my version of you. So, so is he better sidekick. than Broden? Sidekick. Oh, okay. Uh, Tom won't like that, but sorry, Tom. <laughs> uh, but great podcast, um, and he actually sent it through. So thanks to Broden for highlighting that, and Broden will feature on the podcast at some point. He's a big Melbourne man, so maybe we get him. Yeah, okay. And we play no, we'll get days. him on. We'll have to. Uh, but the charts are currently Dan does footy, so Dan Gorringe, big mm-hmm. AFL man. Uh, Willie Mason, Willie yeah. Mason is second. They've got a very good podcast. Great too. podcast. Mm. And bloke in the bar. Yeah. So a couple of st- stock standard ones there. And then very AFL good. Fantasy is fifth, and yeah. AFL Daily is sixth, and we're obviously um, fourth. So let's see if we can we can reel in a few. Does this also mean though? So like for instance, I think Daniel Gorringe did at one point. I know bloke in a bar certainly do. Like they do their own like 
lager. They do their own beers and stuff. Is that something that we could look into at one point? Tom, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but I'm thinking merchandise. I'm thinking mm. beers. I'm hats thinking will be hats. Hats are literally coming next week. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Merch uh, neon lights. Yeah, we can sell those around. Car stickers. Yeah. Bumper stickers. The the world quite literally now is our oyster. It's just seriously exciting. And there may be oysters and champagne on next week if we go. Wow. Well. You must be going all right. Because <laughs> it's definitely not in the podcast budget. Uh, all right. Let's talk Tassie team. So big news on Monday. The Tasmania, Tasmanian, Tasmania Devils are uh, officially a football club. They're entering the competition, as we know, in 2028, but now they have a logo, they have a colour, colours, and Remember a name. The jersey. And the jumper, mm. uh, which is divided opinion, the jumper. Yeah, it has a bit. Uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I always have thoughts, as you know. Uh, yeah, that's why you're on the podcast, <laughs> mate. You're an I'm, and I'm person. happy to give them. I think I'm big on it. I think that's the, the jersey they've always traditionally played in. I know some people think, or oh, they're called the Devils. Can we see a devil on a jersey? And I'm sure that they'll have an away or a clash jersey at some point that has a devil on it for those devil lovers. But... The map is what they've always played in. The map is their traditional jersey, and I think it only suits them. I mean, it doesn't feel right to to me. I don't know. And to be honest, we should probably ask Tasmanians because they probably have a you know a more sentimental or nostalgic feel about it. But to me, it doesn't seem right for them to play in anything other than the map. I agree, mm. which is rare for us. But I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I think the reveal was very much. You could have guessed everything was going to yeah, happen. Yeah, it, it felt ceremonial. Like, it felt it like it was just, you know, a matter of releasing it. We sort of already knew, I, I felt. But I'm, I'm glad that's the way it went as well. I think they could have tried to be different with it, but I think it's good bringing it in, building some hype. And, I mean, look how good it's gone. I think they're, they're over 120,000 foundation members now, I think. Insane. Is that correct? Insane. Yeah. So we Which should is probably, so good for the competition. Yeah, it is. It's fantastic. I mean, it's, it's great to bring in a 19th licence, and I think there's every chance a 20th will follow reasonably shortly. Where's thereafter. the 20th go? Oh, well, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I don't know. You probably can't say Darwin. I wouldn't mind seeing maybe personally, I wouldn't mind maybe another Adelaide or Perth team. Like yeah. footy they mad. They definitely have the audience for it. Yeah, footy mad states. Um, and I, I don't know if you do something like Port Adelaide, what they did in terms of being a – like I don't know if you upgrade a Sample or a Waffle Club into the AFL. Um, but I think that like those just seem to be sort of the logical – Places they've got they've got the footy audience and I'm sure that they'd be followed strongly. I forgot to mention at the top of the uh, top of the show, we have a very special guest on today, and he's already in the studio, just patiently waiting for he's his waiting. moment. He's waiting. He for our for our viewers at home. I mean, listeners, you'll never be able to see his beautiful face, but for the listeners, sorry for the viewers, he's not uh, he, he's not currently in frame, but he's sitting just there behind behind the camera, patiently waiting. He, he's chomping at the bit, frankly. So I'm he's delighted to, to say that we've got another five minutes before we get him on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy this time while you yeah. have it. Uh, there's one thing, Tom, before we get to our guest that I want to talk about. Much of the commentary around the Tasmanian Devils is now who do they target? <laughs> so the Gold Coast mm. had Ablett. They did. The Giants. Israel Folau. Folau. I'm going to say Scully. And Davis and Ward. Yep. Just to push away the ladder. Uh so if the Tassie Devils, this is from Fox Footy, mm-hmm. if the Tassie Devils want a marquee name for their planned 2028 debut, who should they target? Mm-hmm. These, this is the list, okay? Matt Rao, who you didn't have inside your top 10 when you redid that draft and had 20 clearances the next week. Yeah. Should we get to that? No, nah, there's no need to address that. I mean, Because you don't not have a career in recruiting. Yeah, I know. I got that wrong. I got that very wrong, clearly. Uh, he's been on a tear to start the year, and he's a fan. This is what was hard about, though. Okay. You, you threw yeah, me under the bus. No, no, no. You threw me under the bus the first episode when, like, again, our draft is a super draft. 2019 is an unbelievable draft. There's good players everywhere. Unfortunately, good players had to miss out, but I think I got that one wrong. But anyway, we'll takes, move on. It takes a big person to admit that. Mm. Proud of you. I'm a big person. Yeah, well. Like yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 happy with yeah. his own work. <laughs> happy with his own work. <laughs> anyway, anyway, continue. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Noah Anderson. Yep. Lockie Ash. Yep. Hayden Young. Caleb Sarong. 46 on the weekend, just quietly. Wow. What a big game. Liam Henry. Yourself. Kaziah Pickett. Will Day. Miles Bergman. Cody Waitman. Trent Rivers. And Kadim Coleman. Mm. 
Shout out I to Kenan th- Coleman, by the way. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, did his ACL in round one. He's a fantastic player, and it's a shame that he won't be playing this year. But that takes me to the question. And that is? Would you consider it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. It's... it's <laughs> It's it's a long way away. It Taking is a, a long time to answer that question. <laughs> no, Good bait. Yeah. Thank you. It's uh no, nah, it's a long way away, and I'm contracted obviously up until that point. And I think the fact that I'm contracted for four years is probably enough of an indicator of how much I love the Giants and how much I enjoy living in Sydney and being close to my family, my friends in Canberra. Um, but never. But then say when never. money comes <laughs> in. <laughs> Who knows? They they, they might uh, they might not rate me. They might not think that I'm what they're after. I may not want to go and do that. I'm. Who, who knows? I, I can't. I, look, I'm a really. I'm a guy who loves to live in the present. I'm okay. here and I'm now. I'm not thinking about 2028. What's going on then? You're a very composed person. Mm. I've never seen you stress your way through an answer like you just did. I uh, <laughs> I haven't. I've said I have no idea what I'll do. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I can't tell you. I don't know, because I don't know. That's why I can't tell you. We have headlines tomorrow, <laughs> which is just great for the podcast. What do you want me to say? Yeah, yeah I've already told them I'm gone. I'm on. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, I want to be captain. Yeah. Duh, yeah. <laughs> I'd go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yours is more serious uh, than mine. No, I wouldn't go. Yeah, you It's would. a lovely place, though. <laughs> My grandma's from there, so that's actually really? really not. Yeah. I thought that was sarcastic. No, no. That's real. Grandma actually listens to the podcast too. Uh, does she really? Genuine. Shout out Grandma Gaynor. Uh, Anne. 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 Anne Gaynor? Uh, Brady. Anne Brady, right. Yep. Shout out Anne Brady. Oh, we got there. All right. <laughs> Should we, now that we've got our headline and our Daily Mail <laughs> plugging the podcast Let's get to the morning, best se- segment of the week. Should we get to our very special guest, ladies and gentlemen? Not yet. Oh, don't. We're not doing yeah, it, are not we? Not yet. Yeah, we are doing All right, it. Well, let me trip, let me hit the transition button and yeah. you can have your moment in the sun. All righty. Now is where I take over. So now that Jacob has uh, oh so graciously transitioned this podcast into the next segment, it's everybody's favourite time. They were so excited for this it's nobody's segment. Nobody's favourite segment. Yes, it is. Yeah, they were so excited for this segment last week. It's ASMR. <laughs> oh, <yuck. laughs> All right, so yuck. so I've got two different things I'd like to sample here, two different sounds to start us off. They're a similar can I just, vein. Can I just remind the audience? What's that? That if you want to change podcasts or go to the toilet, you're missing out. Is if you're your time do to do so, so. I've got two different uh, beverages. beverages here. Nice. Um, Stop shaking things no, no, before no, no, we no, do no. it. So, so what I'm going to sample is I've got a can of soft drink and I've got a bottle. And I'm going to obviously go close to the microphone and open these two, and we're going to get uh, I, we're going to get a really nice and satisfying sound. I can only assume. Um, but what I'm, I want then is I want people to write in, leave a comment, let us know how did that sound, did you enjoy it, and give us recommendations for next would week. Would you? Would you before you do that? Would you be opposed to a poll? Um, no, because your poll is going to be: Does this segment continue or not? And so, no, we're not doing a poll. <sighs> Anyway, I'm about to uh, open the can. What are we ca- doing first? The can. We're okay. going to do the can first. So um, this is the first week of proper ASMR. <sighs> Just prepare yourselves here and I'd love to hear your feedback. But this is the can about to happen. See, I actually think that was really, really good. You, I feel like you enjoyed that. Well, I, well, I actually did. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. And when you hear the little fizz in yeah. the background, it's actually quite it nice. It's good. All I right. think it's going to be better than the bottle. And so I'm not going to try and buy into this segment because I still don't agree no, with it. No, you do it. enjoy I it. I can I see don't. you enjoy it. I'm about to open the bottle though. So let me just put this can down. Okay. And I'm now about to open the bottle and we'll see how that goes. I also really don't want this to spray all over myself, but uh, here comes the bottle. <laughs> See, that was also pretty good. Oh. <laughs> I actually thought that that was quite good. I think the can for me, I think, tickled my, tickled my fancy a little bit more, but they were both quite good. If we summarise, I think it's a waste of time. No, in summary, I think people are going to actually get a real kick out of that. So that's uh, that's the first week of ASMR. My favourite, I'm going to say, is the can of soft drink, but I'd love for people to leave a comment, let me know what they thought, and then uh, to also give us recommendations for next week because this is going to be a lasting segment. So... That's ASMR for week one. Right. Um, 
We'll get to our special guest now, I think, after the break. Yeah, well, what we're going to do is to transition into our, se- our special guest, yep. we're going to play your goal song, right? Yep. Because on the topic of goal songs, our next guest is changing his yeah, goal okay. song, which is risky because we announced last week on the show that Toby Green was changing his song. And you said he was going to guarantee he was guaranteed <laughs> to kick a goal. And he kicked zero goals for. Mm. So just be careful when announcing songs. Uh, yeah. We're still not going to reveal sure Toby's. We're, st- we're still yeah. not going to reveal it. I, I think we still need to clear up mine, by the way. I've still got a bone to pick with you guys. I'm not sure you've got it right yet, but anyway. Uh, again, just a media guy, man. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty. Right on. Let's, Let's get, get him to on. it. Our very special guest. Here he is. Welcome to the program, Mr. Jake Riccardi. Here he is, big cards. Thanks for having me, boys. Good to be here, and congratulations, mate. You got yourself a headline for tomorrow. Yeah. New Tassie Devils player right here. <laughs> 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 yeah, thoughts on his answer? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, I mean yeah, the way Rick, it. once Rick has started the year, he's going to uh, design a little one-year extension. He'll be out of contract just then as well, so you wait and see. There's a four-year plan here, mate. Don't worry. We're go through that. My putters? <laughs> We're going to have to take the green room to Tassie. Well, it'll fit in well with the colour scheme, won't it? Wow. Anyway, let's uh, move (laughs) on before Jace cancels the show. (laughs) Uh, I've completely forgot as well. I actually had a really good introduction for Rika and I forgot. Do you want to just do it anyway? And we put it in later. You won't like it. It was just a dig at you. Yeah, Yeah, go for it. That's fine. And then I'll pretend to transition again. Okay. Let me get Kelsey out of here. This green room. It's a small room. Yeah. We are, we're only fourth on Spotify, mate. Wait till we get into the oh number yeah. one. For weeks now, we've chased arguably the most informed forward in the competition. And unfortunately, Jesse Hogan was unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the show, Jake <laughs> Riccardi. <laughs> I knew that was coming as soon as you said informed forward. You're informed though. Yeah, I am. But just not the most. Game. What was it? Not 19 touches, 10 marks, yeah. three goals, one? Three goals, two. Three goals, two? Yeah. On the weekend, not a bad game. Okay. Zero tackles. <laughs> <laughs> Probably key standard. Standard. Probably good, yeah. uh, just a good, honest key forward game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, Ricky, before you made your way onto set, mm. we we spoke briefly about some pretty big news, and that's not that Tom's going to Tasmania. That <laughs> is goal songs. Yeah. Mm. Now, for us on the program, goal songs have been a hit. We've um we've seen Callum Brown's song go nuts. We've Tom, continually Tom's got is, mine wrong. Tom's is getting there. Yeah, you need to fix that, by the way. Exactly. I'm very continually yeah, getting a blame, and I'm not the guy. You're that side. I am the guy, but I'm not <laughs> the guy. Okay, yeah. that was poor. <laughs> anyway, if you are over that side, you can sort it out. Okay, I'll, I'll discuss. Not the right version. Who does uh, it then? Tell me, who does it? I'm not going to out them on the podcast, because they listen, and they were upset with okay, your comments good. last week. I'm after them. No, these. I don't care if they're upset with me. I'm after them, because I've gotten it wrong, and I want it right. All right, we'll talk about that at a later date. Now, Ricka, what's your current song? My current song is uh, Feel This Moment by Pitbull. Not a bad song. Like a it is song, a very good song. Mm. I think after hearing Brownie's song. We also have got fans sending in like videos of people dancing and like they're getting around your song. So it's working. Brownie song, is that what I'm getting at? No, yeah, for you. Dancing to my song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe I'll leave it then. Because my biggest thing was that when I was on the bench, it was pretty funny when Brownie's song came on after he hit the goal. Everyone's got this now clapping thing that they're doing. It's just like, as it's so busy. One, two, three, four. Like it goes yeah, yeah. really well. And it was actually very good. I thought the engagement from the crowd was actually very good. So now I was trying to think, well, what can I do that can be at least some sort of singing along? Because I don't think you can really sing with my song. It's a good. Mm. I think it's a good song, but it could be better. Like last year, I'd freed from this well, song, which I liked. Here you go. Mm. Do you want to? Let's do this instead of the poll that we mentioned before about ASMR because that's a waste of time. <laughs> let's do. A, let's do a genuine. Solo po- okay. okay. Unbelievable. Right. <laughs> it's classy. Kind of yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing you exchange all cash down there. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we do a poll? So if you announce now what you think your new song could be, we'll yeah. take it to the fans and we'll say what song is better. Because okay. at the end of the day, that's who you that's who you, the song's for, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's for exactly. the fans to get up yeah. and about and it's create also a for bit him. more of an you can say he, he can say it's for him. He, he yeah, doesn't yeah. care what the fans get, think about. Thanks, Tom. I'm just well, so trying to engage I'm, our I'm just saying. So if it's out of two... Oh, I've got you got a third. That's fine. Well, well, yeah, on, you can do it all. So my initial song now is Feel This Moment. Yeah, so I Feel This Moment. thinking to change it to... Hey Baby by Anton and something else. You know, the hey, hey Baby. baby. Yeah, that. <sighs> so I thought, I think that's good to sing. Or 
Voulez-vous. I thought that was a good one too. Voulez-vous. Isn't there a little bit of a... Like a change up. Yeah, well, as in... So the reason that you want you want these songs going is because you're obviously a big football, soccer fan. Yeah. Uh, and their chants, are they not? Yeah, they but are. Well, the initial one, the Hey Baby one was from Alan Shearer. Yeah. Like, Ooh, Alan Shearer. Ooh. Ah. <sighs> And he goes, I want to know oh. how you scored that, that goal. goal. And they go off. And I thought that'd be nice with my name. But yeah. It'd be pretty crazy. Work, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, Jake Riccardi. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I, I want to know Ooh, how you scored that goal. See, so that, that's not bad. Like and what was the other one? Voulez-vous. Voulez-vous. I just thought that was a good song. Yeah. No, no, no. There's, there's, there's another champ yeah, with that we, one too. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's not for me though. It's for No, nah, you can do it for you. Voulez-vous. Yeah. What's the voulez-vous? song or the champ? You can do You can do voulez-vous. Oh, you Rica. Could, oh, yes, you could say. Yeah, that. Rica yeah, works. So, yeah, but, Rica. It's, but it's better with another player, which I don't know if I'll do now because yours can work. I'm telling you, yours can easily work. Wait, is it appropriate? Yeah, it's appropriate. No, no. Oh, he, would you he, not he's say saying he's going to give it away now so people start oh. saying it for him. I want to save it for this other guy. This Who's the other guy? Because you can go, Josh Kelly and the Achuka running down. Yeah, it works. It does work. It's perfect. So, scrap all over. Hey, baby, or. Feel this moment. Wow, that's some great options. Yeah. It's a great variety. And a, a chance would be cool. Is if Giants fans chance actually buy great. into the chance, it would be unbelievable. So it's Giants fans, like if you do vote for Rickett Rick to change, which I'm kind of sensing they should, yeah. let's get some chance going too. Yeah, because I think if they can buy into chance, it'll really add a bit of yeah. atmosphere. Because then, then so Brandy's would be unreal. Brandy's with the clap yeah. along, whatever. Mine, there's people up yeah. sunbring dancing. But then Rick, we've got chance going. Yeah. Like, come on, it'll be a zoo out there. It's what you want. <laughs> Show me for last yeah, Exactly. We're also, like, genuine, the atmosphere is getting incredible there. And we've even seen with Toby Bedford, nicknamed Snooze, mm. now that when he grabs the ball, the Giants fans are going, Snooze. Yeah. Tell me. Be classy. I think there's some serious potential. There is. There is. All right. Now, there's something I want to address before we get to Tom's trending topic. Yep. And I just genuinely just want your opinion. I'm interested. And I know we said this isn't a football podcast. Mm. We've done some ASMR, so I feel like we've got some leaning time. <laughs> uh, I want to know... If you how you scored that? <laughs> how Rick has scored that? Go. Uh, names on the back of jumpers. Should it be a thing? Yes or no? Yeah, I, I love putting on the warm up top because it's because it's like got your name on it. Baggy, it's oversized. You've got your warm your name on the back, the number. It looks cool, and I don't know if I don't know if it works well with a fitted singlet, but I do like having the name on the back. I don't know if it works for us though. From a from from our point of view, from a club point of view, yeah. I think it's a great tool to profile you. Oh, so you think that we could. Just I'm just thinking bigger it. picture. I'm yeah. thinking like, oh, that's Tom Green. Mm. I personally like it. I, I like I grew up like I love basketball. I love having jerseys of like players with their name on the back. It's cool. I reckon it's did, cool. Did they, they do it. Did they do a round once where they put everyone. They've done the it. Back? They did it back in the day. Yeah, there was a what? season. I think they did. I reckon it was, it, it was a preseason game. Where they oh, they've done it before. They've definitely yeah, done yeah. it before. I, I reckon it's cool. Personally, yeah, I reckon they should do it. Okay. Just wanted to think there. And would you go your normal standard? But yeah, last night? I wouldn't be doing any... Uh, <coughs> Nothing else? You nah, could probably I'd have some fun with it, Tom. Nah, I I, I could. I'd just keep mine classy. Green 12 yeah. looks cool. 12 like green. maybe once a season, it's maybe. a green room. 12. The thing is, if, gets, I think that if you go, if you changed it up for yeah. one week, so first of all, Schweg's, our <laughs> property manager, Adi Schwegler, would not appreciate that. No. Um, like just a little one-off change up every now and then, but... It'd also be cool because if you then play a good game and it becomes a bit notorious yeah. for like that game, yet mm. you change it up, whatever, you had a good game and it and sort of, it, it gains notoriety. But yeah, I reckon they're cool. I'd like to play with my name on the back. Perfect. All right. Is Let's that get. what you were asking about? So like, yeah, yeah. I'm not talk, I'm not going to be doing any chichiri tours for. <laughs> no, but you know how some people might have, like, oh, some people might play with their mum's maiden name on the back or. Oh yeah, that's kind of nice. Like if you have a really long last name, do you mm. switch it up? Yeah. Just I a food for thought. It's oh, food for I thought. Like it. I do. Yeah. It's right. food for thought. I'm for it. Let's get to the topic the club dreads the most. It's time for Tom's trending topic. And because Tom did ASMR, <laughs> I You're am hijacking, hijacking the segment. And it's not necessarily... I had all the best segments. Everyone, like mine are the segments that people want to hear and are excited to hear. And you're now hijacking them. But anyway... You do you. That wasn't the feedback because mm. you don't read the comments. I do. I do read the comments. Yeah, after I filter them, I read I my DMs. Just, I didn't <laughs> want you to see it. Well, speaking of DMs, that's kind of this. That's kind of the thing. Really, what, what are we going with here? <laughs> I want to know, and this might be for the younger audiences or younger audience, mm-hmm. but what does it mean <clears throat> when somebody likes your Instagram story? 
Wow. That is a good question. Because isn't, now Jake, isn't that Jake, the question? Jake's here. Yeah. And we know you've got a girlfriend, lovely Joanna. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been in the game for that long, mate. So, so I'm not really. If you oh, might. Yeah, he's, he's, he's probably not got a whole heap to say, to contribute, no, to be really. honest. So, um, from um, my point of view, so, so I'm going to do it two ways. How do I interpret it if someone likes my st- story? And how should someone else interpret it if I like theirs? Yep. Shall we do that? We should. So. Yeah. If somebody, if, if I like someone's story, it can be, like, it can mean a whole range of things, but generally it's just like, it can just be a beautiful view photo, right? And I like that because I'm like, no, oh, it's like, that's just a nice. See, oh, I'm not yeah. sure about <laughs> that. <laughs> what do you mean? That's just, I'm telling that's you, nice, I, to me. That's a nice <laughs> That's a nice <laughs> no, 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 okay. okay. No, no, it's true. It can mean anything. It could be a photo of a beautiful meal or a beautiful setting that's like, looks fun. It's cool. If I like, like a story, I think a like a story, honestly, is pretty like, like it means nothing. Unoffensive and harmless. Like I'm, if I'm liking a story, it really is just like, I don't know. Like it means nothing. If I, if I want to, I, I don't really have any qualms. If I see something that I want to su- make a comment about, I think I'll just reply to the story and say whatever I feel. Can I ask a question? When you say, yeah, nice view, nice plate of pasta, whatever it is that you're liking, is it for one of the boys or are you talking about a girl? It can be yeah, like, yeah. I'm, if I'm putting I'm up a inclusive. nice pasta I've cooked, are you just liking it? No, but we're not talking about it. Well, this is what I'm trying to say though. So like, I know you, so I'll reply to your story. I'll, like, I'll, I'll message you and I'll reply to He's it. He's liking the story of a view for a girl. Mate, but you don't care about the view. That's, that's what the time sucks <laughs> <laughs> No, no. See, that's rubbish. You know, trying to, it's not. I, no, I'm telling you, if I like a story, it means absolutely nothing. Because if I want, like, if I want to talk to someone, I'll reply to the story. If I, like, if it's you, I know you, I'll reply to the story. Or if I want to speak, I'll l- I'll just reply. I've got no issue with replying. So a like of a story for me is very unoffensive. But I understand that not everyone feels like me. So if someone likes my story, I may interpret that as, uh, you know, they have something to say about that. Maybe I'll just say, oh, what's up? You know? It's a what's segue. <laughs> You're going to say, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like, maybe I've got no issues with... If I like a story, it means absolutely nothing. If I want to say something, I'll say it and I'll reply to the story because I think that's just what you should do. I understand not everyone also okay, uh, feels that Okay, but can I reverse way. that situation? So, so, so if uh, my story is liked, yep. I may reach out and be like, oh, hey, you know, what's up? You liked my story. Did you like it? Is that what you say? No, I won't say you liked my story, but I'm saying like- And they're going to go, oh yeah, I just was really nice for I'll you. i say, well, hey, how are you going? What, what, what's happening? How you been? That sort of stuff, you know? So you'd reply to everyone that likes your story saying like- hey. Not everyone. It just depends. It, it's a, I think it's a vibe thing you can read. Hey, is that not that fair? That pasta looked really good. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> what I, uh, you know what? We're not what gonna, what's your opinion? You haven't given your opinion on it. Yeah, that was going to say. What do you think? Uh, I think it means more than what Tom's meaning. Like, I'm not going to like a story of a pasta because I just don't really care. I, hang on. I didn't even throw out pasta just by the way. He threw out pasta. Like, I'm not saying Let's I'm liking stories of pasta out there. I'm you not doing that. You said and pasta. No, I didn't say pasta. I said it could be a nice gathering. It could be... If you're liking a view, it's a segue. It's a segue interaction. I, I'm, all I'm saying is Does this. Count, like I wouldn't like. I'm telling you, if, if I wanted this interaction segue, I'm not liking the oh, story. Just replies, yes, say, I'm yeah. saying I would reply to it. That's what I'm saying to me. A like oh, means okay. nothing. Okay. This is what I'm trying to say. Okay. The like means nothing. I wouldn't even do Took it. Took you a while it, to get there, but we get No, it. the like means nothing. I wouldn't even do it. If I want a segue or an intro, so a I'll like, say, So let's just say a like's a genuine like, but a reply is kind of like, that's how you... Well, but I know not everyone thinks like this. I understand that some people will like a story for you to then message them. So I get that. Yeah, okay. But me, if I want a segue, mm. I'm, I'm replying. Something. I'm just going to say something. I haven't got time for this. Like, see this this combo. The re- I haven't got time for that rubbish. What does it mean? Oh, I don't care. I'll message you. <laughs> Interesting. All right, <laughs> we're gonna get to a topic I want to talk about, and then we'll get to the poem, and that's it for another week. Yeah. Right? You ready? Now this is a, a a segment. I guess we'll call it a segment that uh, Jake Riccardi has kindly donated to the show. Mm. Uh, so we know at, at the Giants here, there's a massive footballing fan base. Let's say that. Yep. Massive and growing. Growing quick. Mm. Um, Always jumping on. So we thought it would be interesting to create the Giants' first 11. Yep. So as we know, football, soccer, uh, there is 11 players on the field and we're going to name the team. I've got a pen here and some paper. Yeah, yep. Okay. So yeah, I'll be able to write it down so we don't forget. Uh 
it's pretty tough. There's a squad of 40 to pick from. Yeah. Nah, it's not that tough. There's hacks out there. We've also, got hacks. We're both just locks in it. We'll find a spot for both of us. Yeah, the thing is, so I will, I'll, I'll, I'll start with this. I'd right? I've seen you play soccer. Yeah, I'm Jay. good. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. I'm going, Tom. Yeah. No, I'm, what, what, I'm diligent. I'm, <laughs> I'm. You're a 93rd minute sub. I'm, I'm just no, a no, waste no. time. I'm rock solid. I'm, uh, I, and I think I'll find myself here in a centre back partnership. Bit of Declan Ross. Just because. Bit of like that defensive. Is yeah. Is this the centre back call? I'm not sure. We, I think I'd rather have, with the way the game's going, real pep style. We need guys at the back there to advance the ball. But that's what I do. I'm happy to make those passes. I look forward. I I'd that's not what we're. Back. We'll find you in a centre in the centre back pairing. But it, but it's a, it's what's what do you call it again? With like I'm playing that John Stone sort of role. He spoke. Yeah, Inverted fullbacks you. or whatever yeah. it is. Inverted fullbacks. John Stone. Yeah, exactly. Stonesy. All right. Well, let's well, start. Well, one We'll start. We'll start from the. Ba- we'll start. We'll start from the back. Well, I've already got a rough idea what it looks like, and there's. Why don't you say yours, and then we'll we'll, right, we'll work dissect it. it. I'm not going to pick a goalkeeper yet, or my fullbacks. We'll go with a four three three, just because it's pretty standard. And okay. It's easiest way to divide it. Mm. Hit me. I had most actually. I, don't, I have another centre back too that I don't have. So I got one centre back. We got him. He's in. <laughs> so we. And I have to be yeah. green centre back. Sorry, I don't have to be. I earn my spot there because I don't get beaten one on ones, and then I can play the ball forward nicely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, um, it's true. I'll that one down. Anyway, from, mm-hmm. then in the midfield. Yep. I'll have. Who's the other centre back? Or you? Well, you I don't know. Yeah, He's going to come back. Because yeah. yeah. the the DM, who I was going to say, Keith. You go. Could also be your centre back pairing. Ooh. I think that'd be good. That probably I works better as a pairing. Well, I'm just it? saying. I think you work it works does. well as a pairing because then, yeah, I think you should. Keefe should be centre back, and I'd love to work with Keefe. I'd love to yeah. go uh, be a partnership. So well, Keefe is a centre back too. So yeah, oh, that's nice. So we have got Keefe and Green yep. as our centre backs. Keefe potentially as DM if we can find someone else. But then I'd have myself as centre mid. Yep. Yeah, okay. And then in front of me would be Witters. As the striker? No, 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 sorry. Or just like the central attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who's the other midfielder? Or are you That's leaving the thing. Do you need someone here? We need someone to sit behind me. Behind you? So are you, the, like the, you're playing mid- effectively a pivot and you want to DM <laughs> behind you? Yeah. Wait, so I you're... I Declan Rice. That's what I'm looking for, my Declan Rice. Someone I'm to pull, due, someone to pull the strings. The, I'm bailing him in the Euros and I need my Rice. <laughs> <laughs> and Witters is actually Ferd yeah, in front. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, Southgate, there's your midfielder. He won't do it, he's a cat. Green, Keefe, Ricker, Whitfield. And then wings. We'll go Cornelio on one. Yep. Brownie. Brownie up top, striker. He's just really? Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's yeah. almost a given. Oh, no. I would, if we had a really good striker. Brownie's got unbelievable pace. You know what? We could you have almost put Brownie on the wing, wouldn't you? Oh, that's what I just said. That. And we could <laughs> that's exactly have, what I said, um, mate. You actually didn't say yeah. those words. If we're playing futsal and mm-hmm. just say everyone knows... Kieran Briggs would be the walk up nine. Yeah, he actually yeah, can with, play. He's a beast. Futsal. Hold up, nine. let's do that then. Let's put Brown on the wing. Yeah, and oh, there's going to be someone upset with that, and it might solve our situation. No, I actually like it though because Briggs, Briggs can just hold. Forward. You Briggs can you, Briggs you can play it to him, hold it up, and then yeah, play out. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. Yeah, we play. We have to. We played futsal one. Aerial day. threat. He's ridiculous. He's so we're missing a left back, a right back, yeah. a midfielder, and a keeper. Look. Yeah, there's a guy. There's someone, there's who's, someone who's going to be seriously upset, and he's not had him. I only want to wing with Tubbs. Tubbs might have to fly down back. Just because. Or do you put him in the midfield spot? Well, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe me, Tubbs, and we get to work. All right, let's do that. Is he? I'm not sure he's reliable you know enough. I'll pay as a damn. No, 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 no. You're not reliable enough. <laughs> 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 Will he yeah, work that's, back? That's three blokes who want to go that yeah, way. Yeah, <laughs> right, I'll put I'll put Tub, uh, Toby Green for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, right, fine. So you need a left back, a right back, and a keeper. And then you've got your first 11. I will say, though, Briggsy, the day we played football, his chest, he could control. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah, he, everyone was popping long balls to him. Well, he doesn't yeah. listen, so he's never going to hear this compliment, yeah. which is good. Um, who who would you have? The, yeah, fullbacks. Pace. Good. <sighs> Does Stoney get a run? He's Jacob puts, Ware? No, nah, Ware is not in it. <laughs> <laughs> Stoney? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe even Chook. How weird is this, right? Josh Kelly. Right-footed soccer player. Yeah. Uh, but he kicks left-footed. Decent, makes no yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. He's yep. not that good, but so we're putting Kelly and Stone. Quick, quick glance. Who else is Binger? Oh no, nah, we have to have Binger. I'm sorry, he has to. Left be back, right back, right back. Perfect right back. He's actually a good right back. Yep, Brent Daniels, goalkeeper, like a Lear. Yeah, great shout. Yep, covers a lot of airspace. Well, you've got that. What you've got left Sam back? Ta- Sam Taylor. I'll be upset with that, but he's not in yet. You got one spot left. Left back. Trying to well, think. You know what? We need a left footer. And Chook can't play there. So maybe where he gets in by default. 
Who else? Stony. Cads. Stony. Stony's on left foot. On left foot, unfortunately for Stony. Stony be flat to hear. He will. I'm sorry, Stony Thompson. Yeah, he loves he loves his Inter Milan as well. He's mm. that. Buckley. No, he's not left footed oh, again. Yeah, but left footed. You need? Do they need to be left footed? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Your options are. I mean, we're not playing. We're, we're not really playing for much. But we are. We're this is actually like this team's going to come up against the Western Sydney Wanderers in a yeah, couple okay. of weeks. Well, we need. We'll just get a left footer in there. Socceroos are coming to town. It's either Cads or Weary or Fazy. Fazy, put Josh Vane. Fazy. He'll whip some balls in. I'm going to say Trent. <laughs> Except <laughs> Trent's a right back. Yeah. But All right. So here's your first eleven. In goal, Lecalier. Your centre backs, Tom Green. Lachlan See, can Keith. I just say quickly there, me and Keefe, are we getting beaten by anyone? This guy. Also, tell me. God, absolutely can you tell me? You can't just say, <laughs> can I say, and interrupt before anyone can answer. <laughs> I can I just say? Blah, blah, blah. No, I can't. I can't. Keefe and I aren't getting beaten there. You're actually not getting anyone through us. You get a little nippy striker and they're fucking... They're they're no hard. chance. I genuinely we think... We just had our first F-bomb on the <laughs> podcast too. <laughs> 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 and Jake Riccardi's first so far. and last appearance <laughs> on the screen room. I think the, your only problem is discipline. Nah, see, I think you're kicking out at a small forward. Nah, no way. Oh, one of those little pesty strikers. Yeah, I'll smack them under if your, I need to. I'll exactly, smack That's what, I'm, yeah, think, that's that's what not, I'm saying. It's not an issue, though. You've got it's to have issue. a bloke who's Red willing card. to do that. Red card. No. You're also the first to get your rig out. So if you score a banger no, header, yeah, you're yeah, taking the shirt off and I you're getting not. your second yellow Toby, and you're sitting on the pine. Toby plays without like Toby plays without a shirt on. I don't know why either. He's too pale. He's like me. You should leave the shirt on. Right, anyway. Green and Keith. Yep. Faye and Binger. Yeah, Binger. The good thing is as well, Binger will be able to keep Fazy accountable. Yeah, he'll, <laughs> he'll roll into the line. Riccardi <laughs> and Toby Green in the middle. Yeah, I like that. Canelio and Callum Brown on the wings. Yep. Whitfield, Sarah Tech, King mid. Yep. And then you got Big Kieran Briggs up forward. Yeah. That's a not a bad team. Yeah, it's actually pretty handy. And you know what? I'll get her because he missed out on selection and he's stiff, but Stone. 70th minute sub for a bit of pace when yeah. Briggs is out. He's taxed. He's done. Mm, yeah. Get him off. Briggsy, Briggsy hasn't got Which, the tank. Yet. Really? We yeah. know Briggsy hasn't got the tank. You take like your, your Havertz for your... Yeah, but it's, it probably should be the other way. We get the big man on late. We're not talking Arsenal ball. here. Keep yeah. it away. We should. No, we should. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're nearly done. Let's get to the poem. It's everyone's favourite. Segment on In the Green Room. Now, Rico, I know you're an avid fan of the podcast. I'm so glad he's hanging around so he can help me rate this. Yep. So basically what I'm going to need from you is I do a poem every week mm. and then I'm going to need you to... So he's an avid listener, but you're explaining to him, here, to him what you do. That's called sarcasm, Tom. <laughs> Just leave the human to me. You go sit in the corner. Uh, you go talk Tassie and I'll talk poems. Now, so what I'll do is I do a poem. Pretty much reflects on the week, a little bit to the week ahead. Last week, what did you give me last week, Tom? An eight? An eight, yep. yeah, an, an updated eight. So pretty much first week, I went a bit light. Clean. Just wanted to, yeah. to test the waters. Tom told me to go harder. I've I given him a seven and an eight, and he's acting like I've oh. given out twos and threes. Like <laughs> seriously, the ratings. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not, but I want tens. But you reckon I strive for greatness. Okay. Yeah, you're Keep not there yet. This week. See, that's what I mean. <laughs> All right, here we go. Jake and Tom, it's been a pleasure, but you've had your turn to speak. Now it's my turn. So let's recap the week. It's a, a standard start, as I'm sure, being an avid listener, you're aware. And as per, Tom interrupts. Back at NG Stadium, as we hosted the Ruse, everyone played well, from Toby to Snooze. Perryman and Callahan were back in the mix, and Jesse Hogan decided he'd kick six. Tom felt like he was in heaven. He had plenty of the ball, collecting 20, uh, 37. He played a crucial part in getting us the win. He also made me put this part in. The podcast so far has had some average chatter, but who cares? The Giants are top of the ladder. The boys are starting to click, and on Saturday it showed. Now we're two and zip, and hitting the road. Next week, oh boy, we've got a massive test. We're catching up with Matt Flynn and the Milkman in the West. Last year, we were one of the only teams that went there and lost. We're, it took a while for Adam Kingsley to defrost. Let's go and win as we continue to push for a maiden flag, and let's just hope we don't feel any jet lag. In conclusion... It was a good win over North, but who really cares? Because our podcast is fourth. Well done, as always, Jake. One, <laughs> dos, tres, cuatro. Thoughts? Yeah, you know what? I like. That's actually pretty. Like, I don't 
one again. Stop <laughs> swearing. Yeah. That was pretty close. We need Will back to produce. <laughs> uh, can we get some bleeps yeah. on this bloke? No, um, that was actually really well done. Yeah, it was pretty well done. I like the ending. I like the shout out to Matty Flynn and Jason Gilby, yeah, despite was... playing for Enemy Colours. They are two of the most lovable characters. Always, you've made, so always family here. At the exactly. Jobs. It's uh, it's it's nice that they get a shout out. I'm sure they're listening to the podcast. Milkman does. Yeah. Um. So not quite good, Jacob. I don't know, Rick. What are you feeling? I think you should rank first. I'm That's so safe. That's well, so safe. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't. I didn't hear last week's one. Mm, who would have guessed? <laughs> I heard Shock the first me. one. <laughs> um. I'm gonna say you get for that. You started though in your in your delivery okay. again. You started. I don't like it when you stutter. Um you can have it's it. just rude. It wasn't you didn't really go that hard. At who? Roast or who am I, just a, no, 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 that's no, the no. thing. He nah. goes at me for not going hard. <laughs> who am I going hard at, Tom? Me. I don't know. Go hard at anyone. Yeah. Go hard at you yourself. Really, I, I was waiting for First of all, I'm not going to us. All right, deal. Next okay. week. <laughs> right. I'm going to yeah. roast you. All right, here's the roast. You get a five and a half. No, 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 that's too low. You get a... Hey, yeah, whoa. <laughs> you get a... You can have a seven and a half. You, you're still loitering around there. It's not yeah. quite as good as last week because you went hard. You gave the uh, little fly by to... Tell you what, I got, I, got, I got three targets next week. Me? Green? Yep. Riccardi? Yep. And I've got a bone to pick with Adam Kennedy because I'm sick yeah. of getting feedback about mm. the podcast. With no solution. Mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but that's. Can I just say that's who Ken is, is as a bloke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Ken, Ken doesn't want solution. He wants to see the world burn. <laughs> and he listens to this podcast about three weeks after the, fir- after yeah. the episode's out. He's so, Ken, when you see this, Rick he, can say whatever. Yeah. What Rick has been saying, that yeah. you. Yeah, man. <laughs> I wouldn't say it because Rick has got our quota yeah. for the year. Yeah, exactly. Um, but Jake, thanks for joining, man. No, thank really you. Really appreciate that. Man. No, really enjoyed it. Thank you. All right. You reckon you'll be back? Yeah, definitely. If I'm invited back, I'll have it at some point. Yeah, we'll see if um, the higher ups approve your uh, language. Can we get this uh, like the team, the soccer yeah, team? Can we get it like put up on something. Yeah, we need a graphic like, somewhere graphic, on the Giants. Yeah. yeah, a graphic on, on the podcast. And anyway, yeah, no, we'll make me do more work, guys. Appreciate yeah. it. No, yeah, it's not you. Work, all right, see you next week, Tom. Thank you very much, Jacob. Thank you to all our in the green room listeners. Make sure you tune in on YouTube, Spotify, now Apple apparently. So, and get us to number one if you can. It's been uh, it's been fantastic. You're a pleasure to have lis- uh, listening to our, our stutter, podcast. Mate. I didn't stutter. I'm always delivering a poem. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We'll see you next week.